the, the, the candidates will analyse a lot of what they've said last night. Um, and they, they, to be honest, candidates and, and campaign teams, as Jeff and I both know, will tend to overanalyse these things, actually. But they'll certainly want to put right some of the areas that they think potentially went a little bit wrong um, for them. Uh, and they'll want to you know, re-emphasise their strengths and try and minimise their weaknesses. You know, if we look back to a, a, an interesting example, which people still talk about a lot, if you go back to the referendum in 2014 um, and the Alistair Darling and Alex Salmond debates, um, so in the first one, because Alex Salmond is Alex Salmond, um, you know, extrovert, very big personality, and because Alistair Darling was seen as being, you know, a, a camera former chancellor, everybody expected in that first debate that Alex Salmond would come off the better, and he got absolutely scalped by Alistair Darling. And I suspect, Jeff, it came as a bit of a shock probably to the, to the Salmond team that that happened, but he really schooled up to make sure it didn't happen again the next time. Um, and the next debate was very different to the first one, um, where almost the opposite happened, where you know perhaps the Alistair Darling campaign team thought they could just kind of do a 2.0 and do the same thing again, but the Salmon team made sure that didn't happen. So these teams will do that again, and they'll make sure, because there are still a number of debates to come, they'll make sure that they, they won't make the same mistakes that they did again, and they'll want to double down on the things that went well and try and make them happen again too.